Everybody, Dave here, Hidden Freedom. In this video, we're going to talk about the ideal age to retire early or just retire in general. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we start here, you know, what really is, what is early retirement? What age is early retirement? Is that anything before 55? Is it anything before 65? Is it just retired in general? You know, there, there. If you ask, you know, ten people, you probably get ten different answers, and I would say that eight of those people out of those ten probably are not going to retire at sixty-five years old. So, I, you know, it's a very tough. I think to, uh, you know, even talk about a video like this because I feel like, you know, ninety-nine percent of the people, you know, early retirement to them is going to be anything before sixty-five. You know, and even then, a lot of people probably can't even retire at sixty-five. So, uh, I just want to kind of preference the video a little bit with that, right? You know, I, this video will fit the people probably on the fire journey or just people that are, you know, above the average because, you know, I can't really account for everybody else, right? All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So we got the 20s there on our left-hand side and then we got the 30s, we got the 40s, got the 50s there kind of in the middle. We got the 60s, we got the 70s, and then we got the 80s there. And then if we kind of fill some more stuff in here, we got um, kind of like a little baby over there um, into your 20s. You know, obviously, unless you're born into a silver spoon or into a billionaire, and there's only 2,000 billionaires, I believe, on this earth, you know, which so really means that you are not going to be born, uh, born into a billionaire. Uh, you know, but you don't have to be born into a billionaire, you know, generational wealth to to, um, you know, you could be, you know, somebody that has multi-million dollars or something like that, born into a family like that and have generational wealth. But, you know, we could talk about that uh, a little bit later on in the video. So for 99% of the people, we're not born into a silver spoon. We don't have wealth. We weren't born into wealth. Or our parents don't have wealth or anything like that. All right, moving on. All right, we graduate college there. We get our first job. And, you know, we start making some money. We're probably making, you know, $60,000 or something like that. If we got a decent degree or something, right? Something that's not in basket weaving, maybe underwater basket weaving would pay a little bit more, right? So we're starting to get there into our 30s and we're starting to make a little bit of money there. That gets us into our careers about, you know, 40s, late 30s, early 40s. And we're a little more senior level there, making a lot more money probably for especially people in the fire movement, right? Um, a lot of engineers like myself in this fire movement. And, you know, we get paid a little bit more than I would say the average. So, uh, all right, moving on here. We got on the other side of the bell curve there. We're just, you know, in a little bit of a senior status there. We can get our discount at Denny's. Okay, we can get a French Slam. We can get our AARP card there. And then moving on here, we are now graduated to a cane in our late 60s and in our 70s there. We got a little bit of health issues and whatnot. We might be on a one or two prescription drugs or something like that. And then we go to the grave. So, uh, you know average life expectancy i think is middle 70s or even somewhere somewhere around there i think in the u.s but you know i, I think in general most people are probably going to be late 70s somewhere in their early 80s maybe uh, so especially if you take care of yourself all right let's fill on a little bit more here let's move on and then we fill in the red block here the red block is the ideal age not to retire, right? Or the age that we do not want to retire. We, we're not going to retire uh, in our 20s and most likely in our mid 30s or anywhere anywhere around there. We're not, not going to have enough money, right? It's like I was saying earlier, unless you're born into wealth, then you're not going to have enough money in your early 30s. Um, unless you really started super young. And I'm talking about like maybe... You know, when you were a teenager, like a 15 year old or something like that, your parents were chasing fire or they caught on. They told you about fire. I don't know. 
but you started having a paper route. Do they even deliver papers anymore? I'm not even really sure. But you, you know, you had all these odd jobs. You pick weeds, you dug ditches, whatever. That's all the stuff that I did. Dug ditches. Um, I picked weeds. I had paper routes, you know, all that type of stuff. But I didn't know anything about the fire movement until <laughs> until I hit, uh, uh, my, you know, 40 years old, I think, is about when I hit, you know, actually found out about fire. So for most people, you're not going to know anything about fire, most likely. Maybe... Um, I think it's catching on a little bit more, especially if you watch a lot of these types of videos. You might be able to catch it. And the earlier you catch, you know, the fire movement, say mid-20s, you're going to be a lot better off, obviously, right? But uh, and you kind of move on the other side here. When you get over into your late 60s and in your 70s and 80s, you know, that's ideally not when you want to retire. You're probably going to have health issues. You're not going to want to travel, right? Obviously... That is not something that uh, we're striving for, right? We, we, we just really want to retire before that if we can. Now, granted, if you retire at 75, that's better than you retire at 85, right? I mean, you see my point there, right? You, if you could retire at 65, that's better than at 75, okay? But and ideally, we just don't want to be 65 and older and then retiring, so, and that's the reason why I say, when is early retirement? Is anything before 65? Is anything before 55? Is 55, is, it, is that early retirement? And I think that is going to be a case-by-case -case basis. But in general, I would say anything before 55 is probably considered early retirement, to me at least. All right, moving on here, we got the blue block here, and um, that is getting closer, I'd say, to where we want to retire, right? So we got, um, you know, late 30s, early 40s there. Yeah, you're probably going to have enough money. You, you could have enough money by then. You could make early retirement work. You're going to have your health. So that, uh, you know, I think people could make that work. And then on the other side here, you know, late 50s and mid 60s there, you're going to have some health left there. You're going to probably most certainly have um, enough money in most, you know, in general, right? You should be also getting Social Security and all that stuff coming in by then. You'll still get your AARP card. You'll still get your discount at Denny's and for some of you folks, uh, Sizzler. All right, we got the green block at the top here, and this is the ideal age. So at both sides of the bell curve there, you got say, just this is say 55 is the top, the very top right there. So anything from late 40s to 55 and then anything from 55 to say 59 years old is your ideal spot to retire in my opinion why because you're gonna have a lot more cash available a lot more you mean you know obviously generating more a lot more at your job you'll have a lot more income coming in you'll be able to save more you'll be able to supercharge um, your investment, you'll have enough cash on the taxable side that you can live off of until you get to 59 and a half. Now, granted, if you're already nine, if you're already 59 and a half, um, then you're good to go, right? You can already draw off of your taxable accounts and your tax deferred accounts. So, and you're probably just a few years from collecting Social Security. So, this I think is the ideal age to retire. Now, granted, if you don't call that early retire, you know, I mean, you can throw that anywhere in over here, right? Late 40s, uh, early 40s, you know, mid 50s, early 50s. That's all early retirement. And technically, you know, anything probably before 65 is early retirement. But this is in general to shows you the ideal age of retire. You're going to have the most money. You're going to be making the most in your career. You have the most money. You're going to have the best health. You're still going to be mobile. And I believe that most people can probably get into this green block somewhere, either, you know, before 50s or somewhere in their 50s and at the very least somewhere in their early 60s. Um, so what do you think? Where are you at in this bell curve? Are you shooting for the blue block on the left side or the blue block on the right side are you shooting for the green block on the left side or the green block on the right side where are you at on your journey let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching